Hi, this is Shalini Mittal from Tech Gatha and in this video we will see the difference between statically typed languages and dynamically typed languages. To understand the difference, let's take an example of a bottle. A bottle can be used to store anything, milk, water, juice, erasers, pencil, pen, etc. But the moment I put a label, say as liquid, then this bottle will be used to store liquids and other types of items will not be stored. Now the question arises, how it is linked with programming languages? The way bottles are containers to store items, programming languages have variables that act as containers to store values. If I declare a variable x and put a label int before it, then this variable can be used to store values of only integer types and other types of values cannot be stored. Since this declaration is done at compile time, the languages that exhibit this behavior are called as statically typed languages. If I remove the label int, this variable can be used to then store values of any type. Since the type of variable is identified at runtime, the languages that exhibit this behavior are called as dynamically typed languages. Now let's understand the compilation and execution process for each of them. In statically typed languages, variables are declared with data types. As these languages are compiled by a compiler before execution, they are type safe, produces machine code that helps in optimizing memory, but extra compilation step makes development cycle slower. As opposed to in dynamically typed languages, the variable type is not declared and hence these languages usually don't have a compiler but have an interpreter that checks for type at the time of program execution. Hence, these languages may have type errors, produces machine code that might not be optimized and since there is no compilation step, development cycle is faster. With this, we come to an end of this video. If you liked it, please do share, like and subscribe. Happy learning, take care and bye-bye.